Houston and one. So we had come from with Chris and uh, he said, super strength, I'm a superhero person, so that took me immediately to superpowers. And the best way to demonstrate superpowers is to make superheroes. So we introduce you to the Risker, all right? So we have a very simple comment going on here. So the Risker is a superpower, all right? Pow, here she is. Uh, we have some naysayers, some negative people that want to, you know, get in the way. They want to throw things at her. They want to try to break her down. And you know what she says? You know what? I'm just going to fly off. And these little <laughs> negative naysayers, they're so sad. They're mad because she got away. Uh, but not only that, later on she encounters an obstacle, a nice big wall that she can't get through. Or can she? Oh, no. Well, over here, she breaks through the wall because she breaks down all barriers and she can just get through anything that's in front of her. Now, all these little naysayers, instead of just letting them be negative, what she wants to do is she wants to bring them into the fold. So she says, you know what, come on, we can do this together, okay? And uh, over here, we have our little positive, all right, uh, also kind of deputized as little superheroes. And uh, now we are all team risk. So. <laughs> Um, we just felt that it was the best way to visualize flexibility and adaptability for different circumstances or situations that you may go through. Um, you yourself must be flexible, and so she uses the perfect visual, knowing how and when to pivot or iterate and trusting your instincts. So, Mark is an illustration of whack ideas. So, barbershop whack. <laughs> <laughs> Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Yeah. Cupcakes. Yeah. 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 All these people. Yeah. Like landscaping. They, they landscaping and whack <laughs> All right. But to kind of illustrate the thing outside the box. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. We have some of the cool ideas some of our kids came up with. All right. Four, three, two, one. Hi, so our EMI was Initiative with Selfie Lion. So we drew Lucinda's hand, <laughs> and um, this is the logo, or you know, that represents Initiative Selfie Lions, but we wanted to turn it on its head and say, no, we don't want to ask for permission. We want our students not to wait for permission to go ahead and do something. So we don't want to wait for, they don't want to need permission to make a phone call to a possible mentor. They don't need permission to, you know, create a prototype, to email. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Soundtrack on everything. <laughs> no joke. All right, so we're going to start right there. So um, the idea was that, you know, we're all on a journey, and it's a classroom as a teacher, specifically who's a student and a teacher, as we're learning along the way, we were taking our students to new places. So we have our goal, our screen on the front that says, you know, we can go um, hit mountains, cities, um, universe. We're communicating with the entire world through the internet, in the digital world, but also in person, because that body language, that one-on-one, -on -one, that peer um, connection is so important. So we have our students here who come together, as well as go back to their stations to do things in their strips, just like a little Star Trek thing. And also, you know, these are their ideas that we're sharing. And again, we're sharing around the world with the students, um, different languages, different cultures, but we're coming together as one. So that's communication and collaboration. 